Hello my friends and welcome back to my lab vlogs. If you're new here, my name is Jessica and I am a final year PhD student at the University of Aberdeen and I study in the field of natural products chemistry. So as you might be able to tell, I am back in my lab here in Aberdeen. I have finished my France internship. It was a successful trip, uh, but it was very, very short. So we didn't manage to do everything that we had hoped, but I'm going to continue the work back here in Aberdeen. So for today, I'm actually on the HPLC. I am back isolating compounds again. Story of my life, story of my PhD. But yeah, it's nice to be back. Nice to see everyone in the lab again. Yeah, nice to be back on the HPLC. I never thought I would say it, but I just want to try and finish this HPLC work, finish up the bioassay stuff and hopefully finish my PhD. We'll see, we'll see. Uh, yeah, so that's the plan for today. I'm actually going on a tour of the new science teaching hub this afternoon because I'm part of a committee and we're wanting to host an event there. That should be cool, but until then, I am on the HPLC, I am planning my work for next week, and I am doing some bits on my computer. <laughs> like 4 30 because i was letting my hplc run and now i'm back checking the hplc and everything's okay thankfully which is good so i'm just waiting for this run to finish so i can add more runs to the end of the sequence and then i can leave it to run for a few hours and hopefully hopefully <laughs> the retention times won't shift and then i'm gonna go home so a successful first day i took it easy today just to ease myself back in uh nice being back on the hplc again and I'm back on the HPLC again tomorrow. So I will speak to you guys then. it's Wednesday. I have just come in at 8.30 to clean the HPLC because I was running it overnight and my sequence decided not to work. Can you see this big red thing here? It's an error. So for some reason there's a problem with our HPLC that the fraction collector, like the automatic fraction collector, keeps getting stuck or isn't recognizing that there's a vial there. So that's a bit annoying. I lost four of my runs which were supposed to happen during the night but hopefully I still have enough of the compound to do the NMR. I didn't update you yesterday but I checked the NMR of the peak that I was isolating and it's the same as the peak I was isolating before I went to France but I only had one milligram so my NMR was terrible and now I have about three milligrams combining the one from before and the peak that I am isolating now well once I dry down all of the collected fractions I think I'll have around three milligrams which is enough for getting a good NMR so I'm very excited however from the NMR it actually looks like two compounds instead of one so I'll have to do some further purification next week a little bit annoying that it never worked out but at least the majority of my runs did run during the night. So now I need to tidy everything up because I have all my flasks and stuff. I also need to remove the vials from the HPLC. I need to clean the HPLC for the next person. And then I'm spending the day writing. So I will check in with you later on and we'll see my progress with writing. <laughs> Hello 
friends, I am now at home. I went to the shop after the lab and got something for breakfast. I cooked breakfast and now I'm sitting down at my desk. I just looked at some emails I hadn't read and it's 10 past 10 and this is me properly starting my work. Of course, I was in the lab earlier cleaning the HPLC, but this is me starting my data analysis, making my figures, everything for two presentations I have next week and it's 10 past 10. So I'm just keeping it real with all and I don't always manage to start my work at nine, but in my head, as long as the work gets done that I have scheduled for the day, it doesn't matter what time you start and what time you finish. So I am gonna start my work. I have the blind closed, that's why it's so dark in here because the sun is shining right through the window and it's very warm and it's like right in my eyeballs. <laughs> so I've got, uh, I've had the blind closed. Just before I crack on with my work, I wanted to show you an exciting parcel that I have received in the post with some very useful items that will be very useful for my PhD. I haven't opened the package yet because I wanted to wait until I could show you guys. Okay, so hopefully you can see me because I know the lighting's a bit weird in here, but I have a parcel and this is my first, um, I guess, sponsored content that I have for my channel. So very kindly, OcuShield have sent me some items for me to try out, which might help benefit me for my PhD. And also so I can give an honest review once I've tried them out to see if any of you guys want to buy the items, um, to see if they help your PhD or your studying experience also. So I'm excited. So this is the first item that I got. It's actually a anti-blue light screen protector for my iPad because I've mentioned before that I like to use my iPad for reading papers and for planning and I use it for a lot of things. So in order to protect your eyes from the harmful blue light, uh, which can give you headaches, it can also cause strain on your eyes. I yeah, wanted to get a blue light screen protector for my iPad. So I'm very excited to give this a try. Yeah, hopefully you can see that. So this is the brand that I was mentioning, OcuShield. Um, and they have lots of stuff. They have screen protectors for phones, for laptops, for different sizes of iPads. Um, yeah, so very excited to try this. And the second item is these blue light uh, filtering glasses. They do the same job basically as the screen protector but they are glasses so obviously i'm wearing my glasses now so i can only really use these when i have my contact lenses in which i do wear sometimes oh I'm just trying to open the box i think they also do prescription ones so if you do wear glasses like me then they can also make them up with your prescription and um yeah with the blue light filter also so it says here happy eyes happy you which is very, very true. Oh, it's got OcuShield engraved on the box. Oh, these glasses are so nice. So these are the glasses. I'm just going to try them on. I won't be able to see anything, but just to see, show you guys how they look. And how do they look? Uh, they're very comfortable. They're very lightweight, actually, which is nice. And I don't have ones in these colors, so I thought I would go for the tortoiseshell color. But yeah, I'm just going to take them off because I can't see. <laughs> Thank you again, OcuShield, for sending me over those items. And like I say, in a few weeks time, once I've tried out the items properly, I will give you guys a review and let you know if I think that they're worth you purchasing. Here is my compound that I've been isolating all week. This is more that I need to add to the original vial, which has two milligrams. This is hopefully another one milligram and I'm gonna take the NMR and hopefully it's gonna be wonderful. Can you tell I'm excited? very excited. Look at how nice and concentrated that is. I'm hoping this is three milligrams. That would be absolutely perfect for my NMR. Ah. Hello friends. I thought I would give you a little update because I didn't chat to you much yesterday. So yesterday I was actually working from home. I was working on some graphs for two presentations that I have next week. So I did the graphs, I did the error bars, and I finished one of the presentations, so that's good. And I quite enjoyed being at home and just focusing on computer-based writing, figure-making kind of stuff. It makes a big difference putting that day aside to do those things, because I know that if I'm in the lab, they will not get done. So it's it broke up my week quite nicely, actually. Uh, of course, I wasn't in the lab on Monday because I took the day off to try and get back to normal after all my flights and traveling on Sunday. Now I am taking the NMR of the compound that I've been isolating this week. I have 3.8 milligrams now, which is a lot. 
So fingers crossed the NMR looks good. I think I mentioned yesterday that it's actually two compounds, but the more I have, the better, because that means that I'll have a better chance of purifying the sample on the HPLC. So that'll be next week. I'll be, I'll be trying to do that. Yeah, it's been a nice uh, segue back into working back in the lab here this week. I've been taking it easy. I am trying to have this new approach to my work where I'm not running around everywhere. I'm just trying to be better at prioritizing tasks and doing one thing at a time so I don't get stressed and I can keep my head clear and, and yeah, just keep focused on what I need to do. That's my little update. I think I will try to revive some bacteria this afternoon because I got some bacteria sent to me for like a follow-up study from the France trip, which is very exciting. So they are in like freeze dried form at the moment. So I need to revive them. Also can't remember how to revive bacteria because it's been a long time since I've done that. So uh, I need to look at the methods to familiarize myself again and then get that done this afternoon before our group meeting at 4 p.m. Hello, hello. We had our group meeting. It was very nice. My friend Federica, who you might have seen in a vlog quite a while ago, uh, she was presenting a journal club paper so that was cool and yeah now i am leaving for the weekend so i just want to thank you very much for watching as always and i will see you next week in the next vlog bye